Hi all, it's Doug again from Bjorn Territory and in this episode I'm going to show you how to build a Peninsula War style church. Um, a nice little building that you can put on your terrain table quite nicely with not too much effort. I hope you enjoy this one. Uh, if you like what I'm doing, please like and subscribe. Catch you in a bit. So for my church, I've got a bit of old hardboard that I've marked out as a six inch by four inch base. Just to, as always, give myself a bit of a working area to map out what my intention is. And I've already pre-cut some foam core board that I use for the walls and for the church part. Um, I've decided to have a bit of a tower, got some window to cut away and some doors to cut away. So I'll start building up and show you what I'm doing. So because I'm building of creating the terrain piece for about 28 mil, I tend to work with a rule that my height of my building per floor is about two inches, which kind of gives enough space for a figure if needed, if I decided to have removable roofs or etc. that it would fit in, it would look to scale. So I'd mark out before I put my windows where the window is going to be. So when cutting up foam core card, Always use a sharp knife. Always advise to use a metal rule. But when cutting, make sure you cut both corners. You're slicing so the foam cuts through. So then I rotate, rotate it. I do from the bottom corner up. One corner, and then into the other corner and out. Pop out, nice and easy. Keep the little bit that you cut out for the door because we will create the door out of it. Perfect size. A little window, a little light for the chapel. Right, now the window at the top, corner front of my church. This needs a bit of tidying up, but it's the main sections cut out. So now I have my pieces cut out for my church. It's now assembly. So what I do, I mark out the width of a piece of the foam core card against the other piece. I then slice away that outer area and then come at it at the side, take away that foam. It's a nice, I suppose I see it, stepped area. And when I press, oh, sorry. When I join it together, I've got a hot glue gun against the side. It take away a little bit more of the foam. Make a nice job. So join it together, now that I've got that stepped away area, hot glue in this piece, like so. Make sure you don't burn yourself. But that piece. Now the church is actually connected to the base, it provides a bit more stability for working on. I made a mistake, I missed this part of the roof, but it's easy, just fix, just glue back on and it will blend in nicely. I've taken away some corner edges here and here my square dowels that are six inches that go along the top here and here. Let's add a bit more feature. I'm gonna put a little frame inside here, a bit of hot glue gun to hold it in place. And the window with the door, I'm just gonna cut away the top edge, not all the way through, just to make an insertion. Put your dowel in. A bit neater than mine, that'd be good this excess bit and on the front step I'm just going to put a little bit of cut off block of foam yeah. so there you go got my window frames in lots of string bits of glue gun I need to take off and then it's putting on the roof just adapting as I'm going a little bit sometimes that happens with my builds I've had a change of heart and what I'm going to do is put a little bit of a flat roof in so I've cut off a little strip of foam I'm setting on the sides, either end, and I'm going to sit a piece of foam just on the top like that. Through a box card, and I'm just going to take my ruler and bend again the edge on two pieces. And then what I'm going to do, put on a piece of hot glue along that edge, the crease. I'm going to take it and attach it to the flap of my roof. 
if you're used to my videos, my next method is my tiles. So I take a strip, it's about three quarters of an inch long, and I slice up most of the way to create tile flaps. And then what you do, run some hot glue. You can do this with PVA if you've got more time, but I'm doing this quite quickly. And then come in with your next strip, slightly overlapping. Actually, now that the tiles are done on one side, I take small, longer strips, curve them a bit, and I run them along the top edge here. The last bit of tiling, now that the roof's in, it looks quite cool, is now to do a little bit of tiling along the top of the church. So I've got little pieces cut down, bending in place, and bend them all into tiles. And the same principle as before, Got glue, cap this top with some tiles, slight overlap. And we do the same on the other side. And then one on top. Okay, to make the door, using the frame that's cut away from my frame, I then use coffee stir sticks and I mark out the length I need and I trim them down. So I do one, choose my little trimmers. And I repeat, so I've got them all about the same size. Bit of white PVA onto your door. Put down your planks to make the wood textured effect. So what I did, put a couple of cross beams on there. Now that my church has got its tiles, it's got a flat roof, it's looking fairly cool. It just needs a bit of a paint job now. So first step, Mod Podge and black acrylic, and it will strengthen all my tiles, give a good surface to paint onto afterwards as well. For the walls of the building, as with many of my peninsula wall buildings I've been making so far, good thing about the Mod Podge, it provides a sticky surface for me to put a little bit of sand texture on the walls and if I do the basing as well, when I shake it off, I can join on the bottom of my base as well. For the church, I'm just going to start with a basic whitewash of acrylic paint on the walls. It's going to be quite runny because I want some of the sand texture to pop through as well. Uh, just a little drip. the church just coming in with the flat brown the woodwork above the door and also and also the door for the church coming in with a burnt sienna for the tiles and slap it all off now that I've got the tiles painted with the burnt sienna I'm now coming on with Agrax Surf Shade to give it a bit of tone, a bit of a wash. I'm going to do it on all the woodwork and on the tiles as well. So on the walls, I'm going to put a strip of Agrax Surf Shade like that and then water it down and then just create a dirty wash. So whilst the um, wash is drying, I'm going to come in with a, a heavy or a heavier layer of white um, acrylic. And then I'm, I'll stipple the bottom half to get a bit of a tone blend between the two. Big thick brush, 
I'm just stippling on top. For the tiles, I'm just coming in with a dry brush of a light a white mix with my burnt sienna. And just pick off, pick up the edges of the tiles. And then uh, with a brown and white mix, do a dry brush on the wood. And then I come in with a bit of PVA glue for the base, like so. And then I just come in with my sprinkle sand using my seasoner and add a bit more colour, a little bit of burnt grass from Woodland Scenics sprinkled every so often onto the ground and I seal it with Geek Gaming Scenics matte sealant and leave it to dry. Pretty much there, the sand and dirt has dried and I'm pretty happy with it. I think as a quick piece of terrain to put up, make and look fairly decent, it's done its job. I think I could go to town a bit more detail. I might work on it more and add some brick detail. I'm not sure at the moment. But at the moment, he, I'm going to call it there. I hope you liked it. I hope you're enjoying what I'm making. And please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys. Catch you next week.